Okay, we're going to go through the WinLink registration, download, install, and also the VARA HF install and setup. So first you're going to go to winlink.org and click on my account and you'll register an account. I'm already registered so I just log in. And to get the software you click right here, client software. There's a few different packages you can get, Outpost, Airmail. Uh, I use WinLink Express. It does support VARA. WinLink Express, scroll down just a little bit. You'll download WinLink Express, open that zip folder, and install this file. Once that's installed, it will have an icon on your desktop. You'll click that icon. Oh, I've already got it running. It'll open this window. You won't have anything here, but because I use it, I've got emails here. On this one, you're going to click Settings, and you're going to set up all the pertinent information that you need. Name, address, your WinLink, login, email, grid square. If you've registered WinLink, that's going to be here, and you'll update. I don't think there's anything else needed here. There's preferences. I don't think I touched anything there. So uh, let's go ahead and continue. If you just want to use WinLink over internet, then you leave it at Telnet WinLink. And when you open a session, it opens a WinLink session and it's going to use the internet to check for email and send your email. So let's start. It's going pretty quick. Okay, I've gotten one, two, three, four, five. So the bold ones are ones that I have yet to read. Okay, so these are the ones I have to read. And these are the ones I've read. And to reply to somebody, let's say I want to reply to this person. You highlight the message and you can click right here, reply to message. And as you can see, it's just like a basic email. Um, you can do CC, you can do you know, various names. You can change the subject, attach files. And when you're replying to someone, it's always good to take out all the previous information because that will make your transmission quicker. It's fewer data, it's less data to transmit. Once you're done, you're going to post to Outbox, okay? And that's going to put a number one here for Outbox. And you'll see that there's one email to go out. And then when I start another session, it'll go through. Let's start, goes through, and because there's nothing, here we go, disconnected, and it would have sent that email, and you'll notice now is a zero. Okay, so now let's go to uh, VARA HF. For VARA HF, you're going to Google VARA HF and go three down to this EA5HVK weak signal software on Ross Modem WordPress. Click that, and right here is VARA HF. You can also get VARA FM for FM digipeters to send and receive email, local digipeters. So you're going to click that. It's going to download a file right here. Here comes the zip file, and it's the same thing as, as any other zip file. Once it's completed, click the zip file, extract it, and run it as administrator. In other words, right click once it's extracted and run as administrator. That's going to install uh, your VARA HF software. So let me bring that over. So then we'll have VARA, and I have the other one too. See, here's VARA FM for FM. So let's click VARA, and this is VARA HF. And what it does is it opens this up, and we need to set VARA up. So what you're going to do is put your call sign, and I paid for it, so I have a registration key. Uh, I have VARA check for updates, and it's a KISS interface. Other than your call sign, if you're not registered, you don't need to really worry about any of that. Next is, this, is the sound card. Now, my sound card is a, um, a USB connection from a Yaesu 101D. So see, here's my micro or my headset. And what you're going to see, if you have a signal link or digirig or something, you're going to see some kind of a codec 
or maybe a rig blaster might have something else. So it might say signal link, but you're going to look for something like this, a line codec and an output codec. Okay. And I don't mess with any of that. So you're going to choose those files. Okay. So that's set up. Um, I don't really worry about any of this here. So let's go ahead and close Vara. Now when you open WinLink, instead of a Telnet or Internet connection, choose the type that we want to do. So we just installed Vara HF. So Vara HF WinLink. Okay, so now when I open a session, watch what it does. It opens Vara. Okay, it's got to connect. It's going to give me a problem here. So now with Vara, there's one more thing we got to do, and that is tell it what kind of radio you have so it can communicate and push to talk. So go to settings, radio setup. Now I have a 101, a Yesu 101D, but they don't have 101D in here. So I chose the 991A. You can do digital if you prefer to use the USB digital. I kept it at USB. Once you've connected the sound card or whatever it is you're using, you're going to find that enhanced COM port and you're going to set that COM as your cat control or radio control. Um, and then the baud rate needs to be the same as your radio. In my radio, I changed it to 38400. So I change it here to 38400. My radio uses RTS and DTR, so those are checked. You may not need those to be checked. Down here in optional, you can leave it. I think its default is probably external. I moved it to 991A, and that's it. So this is going to depend on your radio. This is the part that may be the most difficult, is you've got to find your radio. If your radio is not in here, you're going to need to do a Google search and find the radio that's compatible. Okay, so not all radios are in here. You might have a, an ICOM 905, but there may be something else you need to replace with that. Okay, I leave it at USB. If you're someone who adamantly prefers USB digital when doing digital, then do digital. Okay, then we're going to update it. And that's the most important setting right there. If your COM port isn't right, you're not going to get any um, connection to the radio. Uh, some people have issues with the push to talk. Make sure that your radio is set up to use the correct audio connection for push to talk. Okay. Now, once you're in VARA HF, again, now we're on HF, so we're not going to use our internet. So what you're going to do is you're going to look to a channel. Let's select a channel. I'll just update it. You can update the channels to see path reliability estimates. So we'll click update. And now that goes over the internet. That's not using the radio. And that'll update all these um, frequencies that have digipeters to connect you to uh, an internet backbone or, or whatever to connect your email to the servers. Okay, it's it's uploaded. Green, good. Red, not so good. Now, this isn't 100% accurate, but ideally, the higher the number, the better the quality estimate and reliability is. So you're probably going to use one of these top five or ten. Uh, so look at the frequency. See, I'm not connecting to this person here, so I'm going to look at one of these frequencies. You got 40 meter, 30 meter, 20 meter, and they're at different ranges. Here's the distance from me. Remember, we put my grid square in. This tells me how far they are. So that's all going to depend on your antenna, your setup, your power, and of course, propagation. You might have to try a couple of them. But if you go to one of them, and you see all this going on here, let me turn my speakers on. You hear all that? And see right here it says busy. That means it's being used, so we don't want to step on that. So either you wait until it's not busy, or you find another connection by going to channel selection. And let's try 20 meters. It changes the frequency. And because I haven't set up right, my radio is also changed. OK, it says channel free. It doesn't seem to be anything there. So let's give this a try. We're going to click Start. 
and my radio transmits here and then listens here. Let's see if we get a response. And you know what? I'm just looking at my meters and the power is not going up. And that's because I changed my SSB source. Because I'm using USB, it doesn't change it. So if I did USB digital, it probably would have changed it. So let's go to my radio settings and choose my source real quick. If I did USB, I wouldn't have to do this. If I did USB digital, I mean, I wouldn't have to do this. Um, But again, see, that's why it's important to have your setup proper. Oh, where did it go? Tuner select, no. Transmit general. Let's switch that. And I think that's it. Let's try. No, that's not it. Okay. I have to stop that. Pretty sure it's in radio settings, SSB mode, and there it is. SSB mode source, I need to change to rear. Okay, so now we're going to click start. Can you hear that? So it's going to try that 15 times. You can see right here. But I'm not getting connection, so let's stop. It does a CWID. And now let's find another channel. Let's go to WA5TED. Well, see, someone's using it. So let's, let's find another one. That one's being used. Busy morning. There's one guy that KI0. No, oh, I don't see him. Let's try this one. Wow, it is a very busy morning. Let's try it, try it in 5TW. Okay, that one looks clear. Let's start. Okay, you see how that's a bigger gap there? Because I don't think you can hear it. So now it's communicating. Here's all these dots, that's a good sign. Okay, we're connected. So what we'll look at, we can watch it here, and we can see what it's doing. Let's hope it stays connected. See, the quality is showing only 48. Sometimes those numbers don't mean much. Oh, I'm not hearing anything. I think it's, it should say connection here. Oh, yeah, it's still, it's still working. I don't have any emails to send and probably none to receive since I just did it. But what you'll see is when you have something to send, you'll have a little green bar, I think, go here, forward. And when you're receiving, the green bar will come backwards this way and show you where you're at on the receive or send. I don't think this is working um, because I don't, I don't hear anything. So uh, that's pretty much it, though. It'll run through a whole session, and it'll finish a bunch of text here, tell you what it's doing. Just like when I did on the Internet, it'll show disconnected. And then these light or these texts will come back to bold, and you'll know that the session is over. 
and you'll look over here and you'll see if you got any emails and that's pretty much it so like I said the most important um, setting most likely and where people have problems is either on the radio and or these settings here so make sure your COM port and bot is right you choose a similar radio and if you don't want to mess with the radio probably USB digital will be best and then your radio settings should automatically switch to digital mode and use the back interface instead of the microphone um, but that's pretty much it so uh, leave a message uh, those of you who want can email me and um, I can answer any questions and try to help but I just wanted to get this out there to show how to set those up I'm probably missing something I'm not going as in-depth and long as some people do so there's plenty of youtubers out there that do much more robust uh, and detailed uh, videos so feel free to check those out as well that's where I learned a lot of this too so good luck and let me know if, uh, in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for anybody else watching and uh, 73 talk to you later